My name is Jean-Jérôme and I'm part of the i2 support team. Today I will show you two new features of the new version Anisalbook 9.2.0. Those two new features are in the import function. So I prepared a small file with just email, so John Doe at Gmail and so on. And what I want to do is I would like to have each information and to split each information into two fields. One would be just the user part, so John Doe, and the second part would be the domain name, gmail.com, yahoo.fr, and so on. So let's see how to do it. First, I will copy in the clipboard all the content of this file. So I just select it, Control C, so copy, and then I can hide it. I will go on import, import from clipboard, Okay, so this is in the clipboard, John Doe, Maria Chemise, Peter Porter, and continue. Okay, I will create a new specification. Okay, so, so far it's the same. Next, okay, I just extract colon headers from row number one. Okay, next, and here's a change. So, I've got this colon, email, I want to keep it like, like this because I want to ingest or I want to import the email as it is. I want to add on the chart for each email two new entities. One will be the user part, so John Doe, and the second entity would be gmail.com. So for each email we will have three entities. One will be the full email, so John Doe at gmail.com. Second one will be just the user part, John Doe. And the third entity would be the domain name, gmail.com. So what I will do is that I will first copy this column into two new columns. So I click on, so I select email, I click on new, and here I write user name. And I say that the source column will be email. Okay. And then I create a new one, still from email, new, and this one will be domain and still from email, which will be the source column. Okay, so, so far, the three columns are the same. I first will work on the username with the available actions. In the answer book 9.2.0, there is one new action, which is extract part using separators. So I select this one, okay, and here I must choose the character that will separate the parts. Here, the character that will separate the part is the add sign. So, see that I've got the possible uh, predefined characters are space, tab, new line, and so I will click on other, and here I will enter the add sign. And you see, as soon as I do this, it kind of cuts this column into what is before the add sign, and it keeps what's before. It keeps what before because you, here you've got select a part as or parts, extract part number number one, come from start. So here I've got first part number which is this, and from start because I I, just, I take the information from the start. Okay, so so now I want to do the same for domain. What I can do is I could do the same, so I could click on extract part using separators, but I will show you the other new features of an book 9.2.0, which is copy. So here I am on the username column and I asked or I applied one action, which is extract part using separator. I will select this action, I will click on copy, and now I go on domain and click on paste. And you see, when I did this, it copied the, the action, but it's al it also copied the parameters. So on this parameter here, so, uh, one of the parameters is correct, which is that the separator character is the add sign, but one is not correct, which is I want, from domain, I want to keep the end part. So what I do is that instead of asking to count from start, I would count from the end. So if I click here, I've got gmail.com, yahoo.fr, and gmail.com, okay? So we can continue the import specification. 
Next, more complex association chart. Next. So this will be the center item, which will be the email. So identity will be email. For this one, it will be the username. And this one will be the domain. OK. So I can select the type or the icon which will be used for this entity type. So type entity entity and I will go on so this one I will search for email okay for this one okay for this one username the type will be entity it will be anonymous anonymous okay and this one will be domain Let's call it domain controller. Okay, good. And next, I can choose test import and import. Do you want to save the changes? No, because it's just test. Okay, close and now arrange peacock. Compact Peacock. Okay, so you see that. So I've got the domain name gmail.com, which is linked to uh, John Doe, the user John Doe, Peter Porter, and my Chavez. Okay. This new feature of Anisal Book version 9.2.0 can also be useful when you when you import IP addresses because an IP address. That uh, it's uh, so. Let's create a new file. Is a type of uh, let's say. Sometimes you would have different email addresses, which start the same but ends differently, and we want to extract this part and keep this part here. But the thing is, so I could say okay, but I want to extract just those parts number, but. This can be different. For example, we can have something else. We could have. Uh, so you see that the, the length of each part can be different. This length can be different because this is same as this. And this length can be different on different values. So what you can do here is you can ask or you can use the, the new feature. So Import from clipboard, continue, create new, okay, next, next. So I want to add a new colon, so this will be uh, first three parts, okay, okay. So here, first three parts. I click on this one and first three parts I want to take the first three parts so I will use the extract part using separator the character will be the period by default it only takes me the first one part number one up to and including part three so this takes me part number one, two, three. Or if I want to take only number parts number two and three, I could go this, two and three, so two and three, this one, this one. So I want to take number one, two, three. And now I can create from this column, I can create last part from row number one, Okay, and this one I extract using separator from the end, and it would be other period. Okay, so 17, 17 here. So this feature can be very useful because it it will. So this feature, 
So this feature can be very useful when, when you want to split uh, a string into different parts using a separator. So a separator can be uh, a period, a comma, a space, a tab, whatever you want. And then you can choose which part or which part or which parts you want from the initial string. So I hope this video was clear and will allow you to use this new feature in the Anisobook software. Thank you. Bye.